As pre-race driver introductions continue, here's Jeff Burton, who has enjoyed success throughout his racing career. He has 10 victories on the NASCAR Busch Series. He has won 12 times in Winston Cup. He's won in the desert. He's won in the rain. He's picked up the no Bull Million a couple of times, including this year's win at Las Vegas. He drives the X-Side Ford. Jeff Burton. Yeah, he is a man for all elements, isn't he? Oh, he really is. He is a race driver, and that crew chief of his, Frank Stoddard, they make an absolutely terrific team. They have had problems with the race car being a bit loose here. They're trying to tighten that thing up. They got it right. Watch for Jeff Burton to be right up front tonight, all night long. Now the next of the drivers we'll be introducing to you is the fellow who will be starting in the seventh starting spot out of the 20 who'll be going to the green. Dale Jarrett, spring slow winning tradition. He has had success throughout his career in 1996. He won both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 on the Winston Cup circuit. He is the reigning NASCAR Winston Cup champion in February, won his third Daytona 500. Representing Robert Gates Racing so proudly, Dale Jarrett. Following in his father's famous footsteps, uh, of course, we're talking about Ned Jarrett. What can you say about this guy? He's done it all. He's always a great contender on major speedways, national champion last year, and don't count him out anytime you see that 88 pull on the speedway. A poster guy, a poster boy for a career that can turn around. Remember a few years ago, he doubted himself. Could I ever win races? And all of a sudden, he goes to Pocono, gets things going well, and the rest, as they say, is a storybook of history leading to the NASCAR Winston Cup Championship. Now Tony Stewart, who has won in practically every open wheel series. Then he made the move to NASCAR's premier division and is a winner here as well. His tenacity earned him an incredible three wins in his rookie season last year. And even though Y2K has proven frustrating, <laughs> he is still one of the brightest stars on the horizon. Tony Stewart. From nearly winning the Indianapolis 500-mile race to an unprecedented fourth place as a rookie in NASCAR Winston Cup points a year ago. And he was also very quick in that night final practice last night. He was third quick out of all the contenders out here. But they have struggled with that race car. It has been loose since they unloaded. That is a scary thing to have a loose race car here. It'll just jump out from underneath you. Tony's got his hands full tonight. Earlier on our pre-race show, we talked about the new faces in Lee Winston. Here is another of them. Dale Earnhardt Jr. was born to race. Following in the footsteps of his famous dad, he has excelled in the sport, winning two NASCAR Busch Series championships. His debut in the Winston Cup Series was uneventful, but this year, he is the only two-time winner on the circuit. Dale Earnhardt Jr. And the Budweiser team. And also the pick of Humpy Wheeler, who runs this racetrack here at Lowe's Motor Speedway, to win tonight. How many rookies have you ever heard Humpy Wheeler say was going to win the Winston? He comes in with great credentials. Two national championships in, in Bush Grand National. And I tell you, I've talked to him. He is not cocky. He's good. And at this racetrack, he has one Winston Cup start. Started eighth. He has four Bush Series starts. Finishing as high as second. Now one of the elites in all of motorsports, a renowned short track ace, Rusty Wallace, has garnered two NASCAR Winston Cup championships, endured some incredible incidents. He won the Winston in 1989, and this year celebrated his 50th career win at the Bristol Motor Speedway. The pride of the St. Louis area, Rusty Wallace, next to be introduced to the fans here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. And they have got quite an engine under the hood for Rusty Wallace tonight. His crew chief, Robin Pemberton, said we're putting one in with the pin pulled halfway out on the dyno. It makes great power. But this engine style has never run more than 180 miles. There's just about enough life in this thing to make it to the end of the Winston. Rusty has more DNFs in this race than anybody else. He's liable to either win it tonight or blow it up. And that's what the Winston is all about. You've got to take your chances and see what happens. 
Same strategy for that man, Bobby Labonte, who was the 1991 NASCAR Busch Grand National Champion. He earned his first Winston Cup victory right here at Charlotte. He won five times last season and has already visited Victory Lane this year at Rockingham, North Carolina. Bobby Labonte and the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Well, Bobby Labonte started on the pole here last year for the Winston. Ran very, very competitive all night long. Everybody says this is the guy that they're thinking they'll have to beat to win the Winston. Team owned by former Super Bowl winning coach Joe Gibbs, who has three of those big old rings to show for his football accomplishments. Bobby Labonte, he'll be starting third in the 16th running of the Winston. Now the drivers will be starting on the front row. Mark Martin blistered the short tracks of the Midwest in his youth. Since his move south, he has consistently been a top contender for the Winston Cup. He is an IROC champion, the 1998 winner of the Winston, and he has visited Martinsville's victory lane already in the spring. Mark Martin of Batesville, Arkansas. You know, so many of these drivers are so intense about the Winston. This afternoon, I went into his hauler, and he was just sitting there with his feet up on the desk watching qualifying for Indianapolis. I said, what's your strategy for tonight? Oh, uh, well, we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> he is one of the coolest customers in a race car you'll ever find, but he is so good here at Lowe's. There is the Max Life Valvoline. Max Life is Valvoline's new oil for high-mileage engines that will be sponsoring Mark Martin here tonight. And now the man on the pole. Bill Elliott is a NASCAR success story. His career mirrors stock car racing's growth. In 1985, he earned the first Winston Million, winning 11 events at super speedways, including the Daytona 500. He won the Winston in 1986 and was the Winston Cup champion in 1988 from Dawsonville, Georgia. He is as everyone will tell you, the man to beat tonight, the McDonald's team and driver Bill Elliott. And I thought you were going to say, he, and he is awesome. He's awesome at Charlotte, no doubt about it. But I remember one time in Talladega, he was five miles behind, made up the five miles and won the race without having a caution to make it up. He drove up two full laps down there. A two-time winner in NASCAR Winston Cup competition here at the Lowe's Motor Speedway. So there you have the 18 drivers who earned their way into the Winston by virtue of their performances in the past. By virtue of his win earlier this evening, the Pennzoil Racing Team and driver Steve Park, who will start, as you see, in 19th spot inside of row number 10 after winning the Winston Open earlier this evening. What a feeling it's got to be being in this race, the all-star event, with everybody watching for the first time. And I was listening to Park just after he won that open event, and he got on the radio and told the crew, nice job, guys, but we just won one. we got to win another one tonight. And with family and friends along for the ride, Jerry Nadeau, a man who used to do some road racing up in New Hampshire and has made the big move to the big time as one of the best rides around and he will start 20th in the 70 lap running of the Winston NASCAR's all-star race. The green flag just moments away.